everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be talking about the newest release from the brand Perfumology. You've heard me talk about this brand on my channel before. I have done a review for the two previous fragrances, Bliss and Grange. I absolutely love those fragrances. And after trying Bliss, I went out and bought Full Bottle. It's that good, I highly recommend it. But today we are talking about the fragrance called Clutch. This is Perfumology's third release with the perfumer Justin Federico, and I haven't smelled anything else he's done, but the three fragrances he's done so far with Perfumology are incredible, so I would love to smell whatever he is working on because I think he's a really talented perfumer. But let me show you the presentation for Clutch. One of the things I really appreciate about Perfumology is their packaging. It's very minimalistic. It will come like this in this little cardboard box. You take this wax sticker off and bam, there's your perfume and you throw this away, recycle it of course, and here is your bottle of fragrance. This is a 50 milliliter bottle and this retails for $95, which I think is a great price. I think for the fragrances, the quality of fragrances that you're getting with this brand, $95 is an incredible deal. In the description box, I am going to leave some timestamps down below because I am going to tell you how this smells, but I'm also going to go into a little bit of a story time, which I usually don't do on my channel. Um, I like to keep things short and concise, but this fragrance touched me in a way um, that gave me a really, really strong scent memory. So I'm gonna be talking about that, and if you're not interested in hearing it, I don't don't blame you, so I will leave timestamps down below. I will leave the notes on the screen, but let me tell you what I smell when I first spray this fragrance. So when I first spray this on skin, I smell something sweet, spicy, and bright at the same time, um, and it's the ginger. It's the ginger coming through. I get that very clearly. But there's this kind of bright effervescence that I remember smelling in Grange, the first fragrance that came out from Perfumology. And it's definitely not as effervescent because that was one of the most bright effervescent openings I've ever smelled. But I get a hint of that in this fragrance. So there's just something really bright about it. Um, and then I get immediately tobacco. Now, there's no tobacco in this fragrance. It's a phantom note um, from what I've been told by a near guy who is from Perfumology, but I definitely smell it. It's very distinct, and I've heard other people say they smell it too, and it's actually the note that I get the strongest. It comes through the most to me, and it's not a smokiness to me. This is the smell I get. Um, from you know dried tobacco, not something that's already been smoked or burnt. That with that ginger, with a little bit of sweetness and some woodiness, that's what I get. As it starts to dry down a little more, I can start smelling some of the vanilla. There was this initial sweetness to it, but now you can really smell that it's an actual vanilla scent, as well as just hints of leather. Just very faint hints to me. I don't get anything strong. Just a very slight hint of leather. When I smelled this fragrance for the very first time, it was very familiar to me. I felt like I had smelled this somewhere before. I felt like I knew this fragrance. It was a very odd sensation because it brought me back to a place, but I initially did not recognize that place, nor did I get any kind of memory come to my mind. It wasn't until I wore it a couple times that I finally realized what I was smelling and where I had smelled it before. Now, when I was younger, like 15, 16, I had a job and I worked in a cafe. So I would work, I would get off um, about 9.30, I would take all my tips, and I would get in my car. I had, at that time, a 75 orange Volkswagen Beetle, and it was pretty beat up. It was pretty unreliable. It left me on the side of the road one too many times, but 
it was my symbol of freedom at the time. Um, I lived in the middle of the desert. I had gotten in trouble and had to go live with my grandma. And I lived in the middle of this desert. And in order for me to like go out and be with my friends, I had to drive quite a ways. So I needed a car. So that car symbolized my freedom. And I just remember Saturday nights, uh, you know, getting ready to go out and pick up my friends in my beat up old car. And I would go about like driving about the 30 miles that it took to get to where my friends lived. And I would be on this highway, open highway, because not many cars traveled on that highway. And I remember just pushing in those old push-in cigarette lighters and waiting for it to get hot so that I could light my cigarette. I smoked at the time, very bad habit, don't do it anymore. But um, at the time I did, and I remember just the smell of the highway, the desert air, and me lighting that cigarette and the smell of it when you first light the cigarette. Not the smoke, um, but just initially the smell of that hot lighter igniting the cigarette. Um, I just remember that smell so distinctly and the smell of the car. So that is where this fragrance brings me back and it that, that car did have a clutch, actually. It was a car that was very hard for me um, to drive and I would stall it a lot of time. So this fragrance, it's so weird that it took me back to that, um, that time in my life that was kind of bittersweet, to be honest, but that's just the scent memory that I have. So every time I wear this fragrance, every time I smell it, um, those memories come back to me and those feelings come back to me too. And that's something that I love so much about fragrance is that it triggers the memories and it can actually make you feel emotions that you may not have felt for quite a long time. So very special fragrance to me for that reason. And uh, absolutely love it. I actually think right now fall and winter is the perfect time to wear this fragrance. Not that it's a heavy fragrance, it's actually not. It's one that, that breathes. It's not something that's overwhelming, but because of the tobacco and the woodiness, um, the vanilla, I think it's really appropriate for this time of year. Of course this fragrance is unisex, but if I had to choose, I would say that it just leans slightly more masculine. Not going to stop me from wearing it or, or shouldn't stop any other woman from wearing it but because of the tobacco I think and the like leathery touches and woods I think it could be considered by some people a little bit more masculine. I did not mention in the beginning of the video that Perfumology is actually a perfumery in Pennsylvania. They offer beautiful niche perfumes in their store as well as online and online they also sell these samples of all three of their fragrances. So this one happens to be clutch and they come in a nice size, very generous size spray. Not a dabber, a spray. Yay for sprayers. And something exciting that they're going to be offering soon, I believe in spring is going to be a new size. This is going to be their travel size. This is what it looks like. And this one here is Bliss. These are going to be $30 for 10 mLs. I'm doing a giveaway both here right now and on my Instagram. So in this video, I'm going to be giving away 10 mLs of Clutch. This was sent to me, so I did want to give someone um, 10 mLs of it so they can try it out too. So 10 mLs of Clutch, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment down below. And for the Bliss, for the travel spray of Bliss. Bliss will be something that I'm going to be giving away on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, I will leave my Instagram handle down below so that you can follow me and get a chance to win Bliss. But I'm going to be giving this away on Instagram. It's not gonna be any crazy thing that you have to do. You don't have to tag a bunch of people or you know give away your firstborn child or anything like that. These crazy things that people ask you to do on Instagram, no, it's just gonna be something like, you know, follow me <laughs> and leave a comment. So look out for that. And I will also be giving away um, with 
the bliss i'll be giving away a sample of clutch on instagram so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video